You know, at CI, our mission is to bring happiness to every surfer and elevate every surfer's experience. I think what really drives a passion for us is the pinnacle of high performance surfing. To please those surfers that are surfing with that level of technicality, that demand that much of a surfboard, it's kind of a different game at that point. What we learn there is sort of the, the pinnacle of it, trickles down to everything else that we do. I think caring about the best surfers in the world and making the best equipment for them helps every surfer in the world that we try to serve. The CI Pro, it's just the latest, most high performance thing that we're working on. I've been working with Parker Coffin on it. He was riding the Too Happy before, but we just wanted to keep progressing that. You know, I had worked on the Too Happy with Dane and then also Parker, but Dane likes a flatter board. Parker likes more rocker. So there was a moment of divergence. So we kind of left the Too Happy where it was and Parker and I started pushing it further and further, looking for more curve, um, ability to turn tighter pockets and just feel like it's the most high performance board, uh, tightest arcs, most critical fast surfing that we have on offer. So we're really excited to get that under the feet of the surfer this time. If you're looking for the most high performance F1 like short board, you want to be surfing with no limits. You want to be flowing through turns with no glitches, going around corners as fast as you can on a wave though. And you want to be linking turns as fast as you can. Like it's just, you see the top guys, there's no glitches in the surfing. That's that's what a short board's meant to do. You're meant to do whatever you want without thinking. So that's a short board for me. Mr. Green, the green machine. <laughs> Never got my hopes up or anything, but just to have Jack Robinson ride your boards in Hawaii is a special thing. To have him pick the board out of all of my peers, all the other guys, the shapers in the world, it's really meaningful. It's kind of like the world title of shaping, you know, when you win that. Yeah, man, it, it felt special. I was super stoked. Jack was a pretty cool candidate to ride this board because he really surfs to the kind of blend of how this board's supposed to work. Like, and it's supposed to be versatile and it's supposed to handle high speed. And it's also supposed to be able to ride really well on rail but still have release and go through the lip and have pop and stuff. And he just looked really like accelerating through the turns. And I think that when you're looking for a magic board, that's like the biggest component is when you're going through the turn, like what those tiny little things do. And if you can get them to where you want to go and then feel the acceleration and stuff. So I think he was a good candidate. And I think his surfing complements the board pretty well. It's so fun, dude. Surfboards are so fun. You know, like what you guys do is art and we're lucky we get to go ride it. And it's like a, it's better than a painting because you get to go experience all this fun stuff after, you know, it's like a sculpture and a, piece of art all in one. One, two, three, four.